Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Corinne and welcome to my essential oils video. I'm going to be talking about my top nine favorite oils. I'm going to tell you guys why I love them, what I use them for, and how I've seen them benefit me and my overall health. So first I'm going to go over what essential oils actually are. So if you didn't know already, essential oils are the lifeblood of the plant. So they're what keeps the plant alive and keeps the plant going. It's the nutrients of the plant. And so what we do to get that lifeblood, the oil of the plant, is by steam distilling the plant and bottling up all the good nutrients that that plant holds. So that's how we get the oils into these bottles is by steam distilling them and then of course bottling them up and there you go you get your amazing oil and I also wanted to give you guys a few facts about essential oils so when you apply essential oils to your body it takes 22 seconds to hit the brain it takes two minutes for it to be found in your bloodstream so if you went to go get your blood tested they could basically find the oils in your bloodstream and after about 20 minutes the essential oils have affected every single cell that's in your body that is so crazy to me and to me that proves why why essential oils work so quickly for me because there were a few times where I had applied certain oils for either a headache or a stomach ache and five minutes later my headache was gone or my stomach ache was gone and I was like is this just the placebo effect? Like, am I just thinking this is real? And then I started doing more research about it and found those facts about essential oils and it literally blew me away. I was like, okay, I'm not making this up. Like, this is real. These essential oils are literally magic. So my last fact that I have for you guys is essential oils actually cross the blood brain barrier. Meaning even just smelling essential oils, like opening it up, smelling it even just doing that has an effect on your body because it's crossing your blood brain barrier and it's affecting your brain so that's why a lot of people like to use their oils in the form of diffusion so using a diffuser to get those oils into the air and essentially you're breathing in those oils and it's affecting your body almost the same way as when you are applying it to your skin so the brand of essential oils that I personally use is doTERRA and the reason being is that they are pure organic essential oils and almost every single oil that they provide can be internally taken or ingested unless said otherwise. So for example, this oil right here, on the back of the bottle it says not for internal use and that's because it has wintergreen in it and wintergreen can be toxic to your body. But all the rest of the oils I'm gonna be talking about can be internally ingested, which is awesome. The very first oil I'm gonna be talking about today is lavender. So this specific bottle of lavender is the very first bottle of essential oils that I ever received. I didn't know anything Thing about essential oils even just a couple of years ago I had no idea what essential oils were what they were used for and then I started going through this weird rough patch of not being able to fall asleep at night I talked to Aiden about it and I was telling him like I can't fall asleep I don't know what's going on nothing has changed and he was like you know what I'm gonna bring you lavender essential oils and at the time his sister was a distributor for doTERRA and he got me a bottle of lavender. And so what he did is every night he took a few drops of this and he would rub it on the bottom of my feet and then he would rub it on my temples as well. That was the first experience I had ever had with essential oils and you guys, I was able to sleep 10 times better. And at that moment, I became a believer in essential oils. So I'm gonna talk about some of the effects that I have personally seen with lavender. So not only can lavender help you fall asleep, but it's also a very calming oil. So what I like to do is if I'm feeling any sort of anxiety, I'll take a drop of lavender in my hands, rub it together, and I'll cup it over my nose and let myself breathe it in and breathe out. I like to do slow, deep breaths when I'm inhaling the essential oil and it helps really calm your anxiety and whatever you're feeling in the moment. So another amazing thing about lavender is that it actually calms burns. So like if you were to get a burn from cooking or whatever, you can just take a drop of lavender stick it on whatever area is burnt and it will take that burning sensation away immediately. Okay, so the next oil that I'm gonna talk about is peppermint. So this is another oil that I use daily. Peppermint 
is a godsend for people who struggle with headaches. So at about one o'clock every single day, I began to get a headache. Just from being up and around, I always grab four peppermint. Now I recently made a headache blend and this is what I use now. I just take this, I roll it onto my temples, I roll it right underneath my nose if I'm not wearing makeup, and that usually really helps to take away the headache. But back before I had that headache blend, I would just apply it directly to my skin, and it would really help to just take away that headache that I have and give me a little bit more energy so that I could continue my day headache Free. So another use for peppermint is to help take away annoying stomach aches. So doTERRA actually offers peppermint beadlets. So I don't know if you guys can see, but this is what the little peppermint beads look like. You just take these orally and you can swallow them and they help just relieve that stomach ache. Or you could just take peppermint and rub it on your stomach and that could help as well. But I just like to know that it's in my system helping fight whatever is going on that's making me have a stomach ache. So these are really helpful. So the next oil I'm gonna talk about is my husband's favorite. This is Deep Blue. So the purpose for this oil is to help soothe sore muscles. I tend to get a ton of knots in my neck and on my shoulders because I'm a nanny, so I'm carrying babies, I'm carrying car seats all day long, constantly picking them up, and I just tend to overstress these muscles in this area. So I've actually made a specific rollerball that says Aiden's name on it, and it has a bunch of deep blue in it. I just like to rub this on his muscles, and I'll just take this and rub it on my sore muscles as well, and it just helps to soothe for a period of time. If you have like a really intense back ache or muscle soreness, you can could just take the pure oil and rub it on that sore muscle and it'll help soothe it as well. It'll just be more of an intense feeling. The next oil that I use daily is Digest Zen. So the way that you would use this oil is to help your food digest after you eat a meal. I have a lot of food sensitivities that I'm trying to figure out right now. I went dairy free for a little bit. I'm now trying to transition into gluten free. I might end up having to go get tests done to find out what my food sensitivities are. But for the time being, I always take a drop of Digest Zen in doTERRA's veggie cap. So this is what their veggie caps look like. They are just vegetable capsules. So I like to put one drop of Digest Zen into a veggie capsule and I take it after every Every single meal that I eat it just really helps my food digest properly and it helps avoid the tummy aches that I get almost every time that I eat so the next oil that I have to talk about is one of my favorites so this is ginger I am a huge fan of ginger so the way that you use ginger is mainly for nausea so women who are having morning sickness or if you're just having nausea motion sickness it really really helps with motion sickness I actually bought this right before I went to Europe because I knew that we would be on a ton of planes, that we would be in a bus going from country to country, and sometimes, you know, people can get car sick or motion sickness, and sometimes I can too. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I'd have something to help prevent that. So I would always make sure to rub this on my stomach, rub this on my friend's stomach whenever we are having motion sickness and it really helps subside that. It's also really good to inhale this when you're feeling nauseous. I know that when you're nauseous, you don't want to smell anything, but it really does help take that nausea away. So I love this for nausea. So another one of my favorite oils is frankincense and this is what it looks like right here. So frankincense is like the king of all oils. You can use frankincense for almost anything. And my two favorite ways to use frankincense is in my skincare because it really helps avoiding acne. It also lightens up acne scars. It helps keep blackheads away. It helps smooth your skin, brighten your skin. It's just an amazing oil for skincare in general. So I like to take one or two drops, put it in my vitamin E oil or my moisturizer day and night, and I put it on my face and it just does an amazing job. And another, I know I'm talking about stomach aches a lot, but it's because I suffer from stomach aches like every single day. So having oils that help stomach aches is kind of a huge part of my life. So I like to have oils that help avoid those or to help those stomach aches move along. Recently within the past few weeks, I had eaten a ton of gluten and literally two minutes after after me finishing my meal, I felt sick. I felt disgusting. Like I felt like I was gonna puke and I had frankincense on my dinner table and I grabbed it and put a couple drops on my stomach and I'm not kidding you, you guys. 
my stomach ache went away in an instant. I was questioning my own sanity. I was like, what is going on? Like, this is insane. So those are my two favorite ways to use frankincense. My next oil is oregano and this oil has a special place in my heart. So just a couple months ago I got my first UTI, so urinary tract infection. And if you have ever had one of those before, you understand the pain. Like I didn't understand how horrible UTIs are. It was horrific. So I started doing research on how to kick UTIs on your own. There was a lot of information about taking like cranberry and I also came across a couple articles that talked about taking oregano for its antibacterial properties and I was like okay awesome I have oregano essential oil so I put like three drops in my veggie caps and I would take it every single morning along with cranberry and I kicked my UTI in like three days. It was awesome because I know a lot of people say, you know, you can't kick UTIs without going to the doctor. You have to get medicine. You have to get on antibiotics. And I was like, no, I want to kick this naturally. I don't want to get myself on antibiotics. I hate going to the doctor. So I kicked my UTI with oregano oil in like three days. And this is also awesome for fungus or bacterial infections and things like that. I know some people can get like athlete's foot and you could take this rub it on the area and it really helps take away all that bacterial infections. And you can also use it for cooking. I haven't yet, but that's why I love oregano. So my second to last favorite oil is this one right here. So this is Breathe. This is doTERRA's Respiratory Blend. So this is amazing for when you have a cold or a stuffy nose. My favorite way to use this is put a couple drops in my hand rub it together and cup it over my nose and just breathe it in and kind of help clear that airway and get things moving so that you can breathe again. I got super, super, super sick last winter. I had it diffusing in my bedroom at night. I kept it with me and kept breathing it in. This blend has peppermint in it. It has lemon in it. It has eucalyptus in it. So it really helps to just open up those airways and I am going to get ready to use this while we're going into the fall and winter months. So that's how I use this blend right here. So the last oil I'm going to talk about is this one and this is doTERRA's protective blend and this is On Guard. So On Guard is used to help kick sickness. First sign of getting a cold, first sign getting a flu. Take a couple of this in your veggie caps two times a day. It really helps pick up your immune system and just kick whatever sickness is going on in your body and it also has a really really amazing fall scent to it uh, to me it just this smells like fall so I know that I'm gonna be diffusing this all throughout fall because literally this oil screams fall so it has wild orange peel clove cinnamon leaf cinnamon bark rosemary leaf eucalyptus leaves so this is like the perfect fall blend it's amazing those are all my pure oils that i wanted to talk about with you guys today so i also have a ton of blends to show you guys i'm not going to go too in depth about my blends because i could always just make a separate video about my blends but my rollerball blends are what i keep with me in my purse and my backpack whenever i'm going anywhere i have a couple on my side table Aiden has some in his side table so the ones that I have right now are the Corinne blend so this is the one that I keep personally in my purse this is the one that I have replaced the pure lavender essential oil with and this is called sleepies this is now what I rub on the bottom of my feet when I'm having trouble sleeping it has lavender in it and it also has real lavender pieces in it as well the next one that I talked about earlier is my headache blend obviously you can see that I use this guy a lot so this this one right here actually has some crystals in it which is really fun so this is actually my skincare blend this is what I use every single night I rub it all over my face after I get done washing and cleaning my face the next blend that I use all the time is obviously tummy ache. this is just like the ultimate tummy ache blend I love it if you guys want me to do a video on my top blend recipes I could totally do that I have a couple of empty roller bottles that I want to make more blends out of so I can give you guys some recipes and I also just wanted to mention if you guys want to buy any essential oils, I'm going to put my link down below to the doTERRA website um, and you can buy through me. And if you guys have any questions about essential oils in general,
general, you can DM me on Instagram. So I'll put my Instagram handle right here, shoot me a DM, and I would be more than happy to help you figure out which oils are best for you. So I'm also gonna link below the cute site that I bought these roller balls off of. It's called Whimsy and Wellness. They are amazing. Let me know if you guys would be interested in more in-depth videos about essential oils, like my skincare routine, how I make my roller balls, what are my favorite blends. I could go more into depth about certain oils. I have a ton more that I haven't even talked about, so I could do that as well. Leave comments down below or send me DMs, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.